Good morning. I am truly honored uh, to address this seminar on a very topical issue of nation building through shipbuilding. It is also a privilege to get the opportunity to interact with this immense uh, intellectual pool of experts on maritime issues that is uh, assembled in the, within the four walls of this hall. I would like to thank Fiki for hosting this seminar, our knowledge partner NMF, distinguished audience from the maritime community, industry, academia and government organizations as also all participants for supporting this seminar. And I am confident that the proceedings would act as a springboard for implementable ideas to promote shipbuilding in India. The government has announced plans to take our country's economy on a trajectory to be a $5 trillion economy by 2024. And I think shipbuilding is a sector that could contribute immensely to this endeavor. And I'm sure uh, several speakers today would discuss measures to spur on uh, shipbuilding, especially commercial shipbuilding in India. But I will, however, dwell on the Indian Navy's shipbuilding initiatives and its linkage to nation building. As you all know, the Indian Navy is fully invested in encouraging the indigenous shipbuilding ecosystem. Uh, Fifty years before Make in India became a national mission, the Navy took formative steps towards indigenous shipbuilding and I thank all the predecessors, many of whom are sitting here for this endeavor. And this was done through the creation of an in-house central design office in 1964. The Navy has to date designed more than 90 warships across 19 different classes. And with more than 130 platforms constructed in Indian shipyards, since the first ship, Aina Sajay, was, commissioned, uh, was constructed by GRSE in 1961, naval shipbuilding could be counted as one of the success stories of India. And this success story is testimony to the synergy between the Indian Navy and the industry as also a commitment towards self-reliance. Yet we must acknowledge that this journey from buyer's navy to a builder's navy has been an arduous one. Today, whilst the navy boasts of respectable percentages in ship construction and equipment in the, uh, the float, move and fight components or categories, we remain fu fully cognizant of the challenges ahead. The fiscal environment calls for prudence and optimization of every rupee spent. And time and cost overruns in ship constructions create challenges for us who are trying to manage the budget of the Indian Navy. Also, strangely, shipbuilding being a capital intensive activity has created a bit of a narrative where budgetary allocation